Donald Trump has been pulled with one legal case another, but if there is hope coming in for him, it will again be one of the legal victories he's found via the top court of the country. Supreme Court has decided to overrule that he was earlier excluded, remember, with regard to Colorado ballot, and with three victories for states in America that has come for Donald Trump, is there hope again for the former U.S. president, and could he get a rerun chance? Take a look at this special report. A massive victory. Donald Trump overcomes one of the many legal threats ahead of the U.S. elections later this year. The U.S. Supreme Court has ruled that the former U.S. president can't be kicked off the ballot over the January 6, 2021 Capitol riot. The justices reversed Colorado's top court decision in December that Trump could not serve again as president under a constitutional provision that prohibits individuals from holding public office if they have to participate in an insurrection. The Colorado court had found that the former U.S. president did incite his supporters to attack the U.S. Capitol, while he sought to stop Congress from certifying Joe Biden's election victory. Trump hailed Monday's ruling as a big win for America. Frankly, they worked very quickly on something that will be spoken about 100 years from now and 200 years from now, extremely important. Essentially, you cannot take somebody out of a race because an opponent would like to have it that way. And it has nothing to do with the fact that it's the leading candidate, whether it was the leading candidate or a candidate that was well down on the totem pole. You cannot take somebody out of a race. The voters can take the person out of the race very quickly, but a court shouldn't be doing that, and the Supreme Court saw that very well. The front runner for the Republican nomination to challenge Biden again. His only remaining rival remains Nikki Haley, a former South Carolina governor. A swift end to a case against him that could have the huge implications for the 2024 election. Bureau Report, India Today. This is very interesting, remember, because it did appear for a while that Donald Trump may not make it again to the presidential race. But he's definitely been pushing ahead, at least with the legal victory. This is a big boost. Let's try and get a perspective from America. Joining me, senior journalist in origin, Rohit Sharma, uh, based in Washington, D.C. right now, from where he's been tracking all the election updates. In just a few hours, Rohit, and first, of course, welcome to India Today. Thank you for joining in. Uh, it's going to be Super Tuesday. That's a big day, as much for Donald Trump as it will be for Nikki Haley and other candidates of other parties as well. But for Donald Trump, if he focused, do you think a day like Super Tuesday, and in the past uh, what has happened is with regard to the legal victory, do you think he's got a boost in the re-election possibly for him as a president? Well, thank, thank you so much for having me. Well, yes, absolutely. I mean, you know, I think uh, a lot of his uh, competitors in the Republican primaries were hoping that one of these courts probably would, you know, uh, hand a victory, hmm. right, to probably to their competitors or, you know, uh, come down heavily on Donald Trump. We haven't seen that. We've seen the Supreme Court come out and sort of delay one of the cases. Today they came out and said taking Donald Trump off of the ballot was wrong. Hmm. So I think today, I mean, you know, uh, Super Tuesday that is, uh, I think he will probably put the final nail in the coffin as far as nomination is concerned. He's definitely going to go and get it. Uh, we know Nikki Haley is still running in the, the hopes of that something might happen over the summer mm. or fall, right? There, there could be a possibility of, you know, replacing Donald Trump at the convention, which mm. seems highly unlikely at this point in time. But I think, you know, a year ago, if you'd asked a lot of Americans if, if they would actually see Donald Trump as a nominee, they would have questioned that. Mm. 
Th that's a very important point because a year ago it appeared that with so many legal cases being piled against him, even with trying to shift out confidential papers, trying to incite violence or support it at the Capitol, that was, they were big issues. But it appears, knowing Donald Trump, he's definitely been pushing with all his might possible. I request Rohit, please stay on because joining me now in this telecast is also Lenka White. Uh, Lenka, welcome back to India Today. Uh, it's been quite a few days since we've had a conversation. So today's going to be a big day. Let's first talk about the legal victory that has come in for Donald Trump. He must have got a good boost specifically for Colorado where he hopes he has enough audience and all of this can add to the Super Tuesday now. Yes, definitely. Hi, it's it's great to see you again. Definitely, it's it's a big deal. And Donald Trump had a speech today, you know, and he sort of celebrated the decision of the Supreme Court because I suppose he actually didn't expect it either because everyone was in a way surprised that finally, after such a long time, something could work out in favor of Trump. It was really a big True. surprise for many. Sorry. Go, go ahead, go ahead, Lenka, finish your point. Yeah, it was a surprise for many, and uh, I believe it was unexpected that especially all of the nine judges were in favor, that it was a unanimous decision. This is an important point, because even the judges, some of the judges are appointed by Democratic president, so that it was unanimous is a big deal. That's actually a good point because the fact that this was a unanimous decision coming from the court that clearly shows that at least legally the situation may just be not as bad as earlier it was perceived for Donald Trump. Rohit, I come to you. Donald Trump, 77 years of age, Biden, 81. America clearly proving that you're never too old to lead, at least to campaign when it comes to audience. Is Nikki Haley or other candidates, do you think, banking on that, that if uh, the, the people or the voters in America would want a younger candidate do you think that is really uh, a problem or an issue right now for American politics or they'll go for Biden or Trump if required they think that's the leader that needs to lead them at Nikki uh, Nikki Haley's rally right uh, now uh, actually Lenka, Lenka let, I'll, I'll, let oh, Rohit yeah. Rohit do you want to take that <laughs> question sure, sure. I wasn't sure if you were asking. No, no, I think, you know, I think your choices are pretty clear. I think, you know, unless there is, uh, there is a court decision that comes, especially for Donald Trump, or if there is a health scare for President Biden, I think these are two nominees that American, Americans will have to, to choose from. Uh, and again, you know, the polls have been really awful, you know, when they've, uh, people have been asked if these are the candidates people wanted to vote. I think overwhelmingly, 67% of Americans do not want to vote for any of them. So, but these are the candidates we have, and these are the people we, unfortunately, fortunately, people have to vote for. And we'll see, you know, whoever wins, hmm. it's going to be a very, very interesting next four years. Lenka, so I'll take one of those final <laughs> questions to you, because this is increasingly a polarized world, and definitely for Democrats and Republicans, that divide has been very clear on several issues as well, specifically for United States of America. How do you think Donald Trump is going to push against uh, Biden or the Democrats? Because he's constantly said that if I'm being stopped, it's because of the opponents, it's because of the government, it's because of Biden. You know, I think Donald Trump is having right now a big focus, which is immigration and which is uh, economic. And as we know right now, like the priorities of American voters is actually the immigration and then inflation, the economics. So he's having a big two topics, which everyone is affected by. We hear in television every day about the killings of the innocent people, by killings by illegal immigrants. So I think that Trump has a strong win in this case because he, he's really hawkish yes. on this and the Democrats are not. Even though Biden just went to the U.S.-Mexico border like three days ago, he yes. still went to a point where there are almost no illegal immigrants at all. It didn't make much sense and he did nothing so far. Mm. So, you know, he's really not in advance, I would say, on these two major topics of the voter. So illegal immigration is going to be a big issue. Lenka, I want to also ask you, I remember the last time we were having these conversations was when either there was a Russia-Ukraine war or it was uh, the, the Israel-Gaza war right now, uh, that, India, that America had taken a very clear position on that uh, while India had maintained its distance. Do you think these issues mm -hmm. of war are currently an election topic? Uh, Biden has spoken on that. Or do you think that's still on the periphery, on the sidelines? It's what is of domestic politics interest like 
like illegal immigration for that matter. Do you think for American voters that will be the highlight to decide possibly if they want Biden or Trump? You know, that's actually a great question. I sometimes ask the people, like, how much do you care actually about the foreign policy? And I think it's usually like the fourth or third priority. Definitely not the first one, I would personally think, only for the foreigners. Like, for example, Nikki Haley is more hawkish. And today, during her rally, there were 10 anti-Israel protesters, 10 pro-Palestinian protesters shouting out during her rally separately. It was a big interruption. You know, and as we know, Trump, for example, he is more in favor of ending the wars, which many of his voters enjoy, that he doesn't want to send money to Ukraine. He doesn't want to be sending troops to Israel. You know, he just wants to end all of this and have peace. So I think it's a great bonus for those who already decided for them, in my personal view. Appreciate you joining us. Lenka White and Rohit Sharma. So we'll be looking forward to the Super Tuesday. And can Donald Trump, despite all the hassles against him, actually rise to govern USA again? Or will it be Biden or a fresh face for USA politics? Thank you for joining us.